Houston ISD has been in online session for three days now, and some students still do not have the technology they need to learn from home. But tonight, the district is already considering whether to expand virtual learning that period because of the coronavirus pandemic. Education reporter Andy Sirota is a member of the KPRC2 education team. He joins us live from the district's headquarters in Northwest Houston. Andy. Keith, good evening. The public part of this meeting just getting underway at the top of the hour. The closed door session started at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Board members set to discuss quite a few topics as the district takes the next steps in getting students and teachers back in the classroom. Students in HISD, the state's largest school district, started their school year Tuesday with virtual learning. All 200,000 students will be learning online until at least October 19th, when some are scheduled to return to in-person instruction. Tonight, the administration may ask for a four-week extension to its online learning period. When I took to Facebook Live this afternoon to get your thoughts on this, Lewis replied, My niece is with HISD. She has not had a problem with virtual learning. I am sure she and her mother would appreciate the extension. HISD's interim superintendent, Dr. Granita Lathan, calling this the year of flexibility. So parents, students, and teachers should be aware that the start date is subject to change based on COVID-19 conditions. The board also voting on a measure that could make it easier to hire some teachers, lead to more flexibility on attendance and earlier start dates. Board members will also vote on whether to make September 30th a day to honor Vanessa Guillen. She's the Fort Hood soldier who was killed earlier this year. She attended Cesar Chavez High School before enlisting in the armed forces. We're live tonight in Northwest Houston. Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. Andy, thank you.